Welcome back everyone welcome back what's up what's up so i'm back with another here video and i just wanted to show you all the struggles the struggles i endure with figuring out the hairstyle that matches my frame my face you know my head shape everything so <laughs> this process it takes longer than 10 minutes for me to do right but I just wanted to show you all you know what I do when I am um, you know trying to figure out what style I want to do in my hair and stuff like that so as you can see obviously I know that I wanted like some form of beads in my hair so that is why I made that part on the side of my head and I'm going to do the same thing on the next side as well right now this part of the video I honestly and truly had no idea what I wanted to do like literally I had no idea what I wanted to do all I know is that I wanted these two plots at the side of my head right that's it that is it so I just now used my gel and the gel that I used right is a really lightweight gel you know how some gels just make your hair feel dirty and flaky and all these different things this gel don't do that to me right i honestly and truly love how the gel feels i use this gel for my wash and goes sometimes i use this gel to do finger coils in my hair so i really do appreciate this gel i really do love this gel this gel holds down my hair relatively good so yeah and i bought it at pennywise as well so you all can look for it take a screenshot of the gel you know look for it in pennywise if you want to um but yeah i would recommend this gel to anybody who doesn't want that flaky effect on their hair this gel is the gel for you so yeah so when i reach at the ending of my plait i always comb through or brush through the ends so that you know it could be smooth and yeah you know the plait could just be looking neat nice presentable okay lovely beautiful scrumptious delicious so whatever <laughs> you know so i'm going to show you guys a hack right now so i'm going to take a hairpin right I'm going to take a hairpin and I'm going to put the hairpin through the plait, right? As you can see, I put the hairpin through the plait and I'm going to take my bead and push the hair, hairpin through it so that it can go into my plait, right? I'm going to do it again and this is a hack if you all don't know how to use the, um, the type of stick that it does bring in bead packs to apply the beads into here this is a way more easier way of applying beads in your hair honestly and truly i i just find it real difficult to use the stick that it does always give you to put beads in your hair so i prefer this way if you don't have the stick this is something that you can do um if you don't have the stick so i'm going to do the same thing to the next side of my head right and yeah use the rubber band to secure that bead um so everything could stay in place and you know that is the thing right there <laughs> So now you see the confusion in my face like I have no idea what I want to do as you can see like I have like some thoughts in my mind in thinking what I wanted to do firstly I was thinking about doing two puffs but I was like I don't want to I don't want to look childish because I know when I do two puffs in my head some most times nine times out of ten I would look like a little child so I'm just like no I don't want to look childish no 
that is not what we want to do <laughs> so the second the second thing that i was thinking about was a mohawk yes. right but i didn't want it to use rubber bands to do the mohawk into my head you know so it was just mm -mm, it wasn't working out for me And then I wanted to see if I afro would have looked good with it. But nope, I wasn't working out. But then I came to the conclusion of having two puffs, but one on top and one at the back. Because I still wanted to have that mohawk effect. Because I believed deep down in my heart it would have looked good if I had more than two woolies. Right? I wanted to use three woolies so I could have two three puffs in my head, but I only had two that was accessible to me so i just used the two and did that style in my hair so i'm parting the top half of my head and i'm leaving the bottom half um to decide what to do with it later so i I was thinking still at like guys I don't usually make up my mind about a hairstyle until something happens so even though I felt like the two puffs would have looked good I wanted to try this hairstyle that I had in mind as well which is the half up half down so as you can see I'm brushing my hair up in the ponytail on top of my head and I'm going to put a bun on top of my head and have the rest of my hair done right now you're gonna see my face expression and everything um, concerning this hairstyle because I was just like let's try and see if this hairstyle could work for me let's see let's try it out you wouldn't know unless you try you know I did about two, three different hairstyles before I could have, <laughs> before I could have come up with a final hairstyle. But yeah, <laughs> so I have my hair up in the ponytail. I'm going to put it in a bun, right? I'm going to put it in a bun, and I'm going to take out the woolly that I have at the back of my hair. You're gonna see. The confused look I have on my face so confused what a lost child I am <laughs> but I don't I feel like this hairstyle didn't match my face so that's why I didn't want it to do it right my faces are more <laughs> it more chubby so I feel like bigger hairstyles would accommodate my face shape and the size of my face all that good stuff so this is where I was thinking, okay, maybe we could make this work. Maybe we could make this work. Maybe this could be a thing, you know? <laughs> so these are the different phases that I go through in trying to finalize a hairstyle whenever I need to go out and stuff like that. And this is why I like to do things such as my hair, right? Think about my hairstyle and everything in advance because it's pretty hard for me to do something on the spot with my hair right it's really hard for me to do that so i had a lot of anxiety <laughs> i had a lot of anxiety doing this because i had to go the next day and i was like this this giving me such a workout i'm sweating a lot oh my goodness but i was standing because i wanted to see how i looked in the mirror and I'm brushing and neatening up my hair, you know, I'm talking to myself, trying to convince myself this is going to work. This is going to work out. This is going to work out, you know. But I'm fixing my puff and I really do like how my puff looks. I'm hydrating my puff with some water and uh, yeah, we're fixing it, we're rounding it off, you know, so it could look neat because my hair could get pretty wild. 
and I do feel happy about it though I do feel happy about it and I'm really glad that I came up with this hairstyle at the ending because I couldn't go through <laughs> I couldn't go through with this hairstyle not working out I think I might have cried like this was a workout my arms had a really good workout trying to finalize a hairstyle so I'm just curling at the back of my head and yeah that's pretty much it guys like let me know in the comment section if you all like this hairstyle and you know if you all had a hairstyle like this before and stuff like that you know if you're gonna try this hairstyle you know so let me know in the comment section down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll be notified every time i post another video i will go back to my normal schedule on friday again right um so that's about it i know i am a day late of posting but i'll be back on my normal schedule yes i'll be back on my normal schedule bye guys